फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ पावर बी आई इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप टू अ माई एस क्यू एल डेटा बेस दैट इज रनिंग ऑन अ माई एस क्यू एल सर्वर सो इन आर केस आई एम यूजिंग एम्स सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर रनिंग माई एस क्यू एल सर्वर You might install माई एस क्यू एल डायरेक्टली फ्राम माई एस क्यू एल डॉट कॉम और इन योर केस योर माई एस क्यू एल कनेक्शन मे बी रनिंग ऑन अ रिमोट सर्वर वट एवर इज द केस दिस इज अ सिंपल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ इफ योर डेटा बेस इज होस्टेड ऑन अ माई एस क्यू एल सर्वर एंड यू वॉन्ट टू एनालाइज इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ पावर बी आई हाउ यू कैन डू इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माई डेटा बेस so here you have to open लोकल होस्ट स्लैश पी एच पी माई एडमिन इफ़ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद हाउ टू इंस्टॉल पी एच पी माई एडमिन और हाउ टू होस्ट माई एस क्यू एल डेटा बेस यू कैन वॉच आर प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट यू ऑलरेडी हैव इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ where is your mysql database hosted in my case you, as you can see it is on local host the type of server is mysql now i will go to power bi desktop i will open power bi desktop and in my case i am going to get the data so as you can see we have these four options in front and other options have been loaded I will search my SQL here. So in database, you can see my SQL database. I will click connect. So here it is asking us the name of server. So in our case, the name is local host. This can be an IP address also, like one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, or some IP address provided by your server administrator. Name of the database. so for demonstration we are going to connect with a database called northwind it's a sample database we can write some command timeout we we will not write this and we can write some sql statement again these two things are optional i am just clicking include relationship columns and clicking okay when i have clicked okay you can see my in my case all the tables of my database are opened i'll show you those tables here also so you can see those tables this is the northwind database these are the tables categories customers employees orders order details so these are the related tables foreign keys have been set up in them and the same information you can see from here you can select one or you can select all so let me select categories and products because i know these two tables are related with the help of category id column now i will simply click load data so as you can see northwind categories loading data and this again sometimes you may be asked to enter a username or password also if you are asked username and password in my case it is root and my sql and if you are connecting to an external database or a database hosted on a particular hosting so in that case the username database name server name and password will be provided by your hosting manager so you can ask them or if you have any query you can post your queries in the comment now in the northwind categories table we have these four columns category id category name description and picture and in the products table we have these columns product id product name record level unit price so let me select unit price from here and category name from here so now you can see so these two tables were separate tables and and we have uh, simply joined these tables so this is how power bi work this is how good it is 
it has joined these tables and now we can see that beverages the combined unit price in the beverages category is 455.75 and so on so the main topic of this video was to explain you how to connect to my sql database how to analyze uh, data using power bi we have separate videos for them thanks for watching have a nice day and if you want you can check out our more courses that are on udemy link will be placed in the description we have courses related to data analysis python programming postgresql tableau software and even power bi